Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and this is one of those very few times where I find myself in a position that I frankly do not enjoy, and that is I'm actually going to be defending Battlestate Games, creators of Escape from Tarkov, over a situation that was brought to my attention last night, or at the very least to provide some context to the situation as I know that there will be a great many people seeking to absolve Battlestate Games and others that will seek to offhandedly condemn them as well. But before we start, I feel it pertinent to discuss the history of Battlestate games, or at least the history on this channel, and provide some context as to why the initial claims that were made that we'll be discussing today were found to be so completely believable. Between 2017 and the end of 2018, I had created a total of three videos discussing Battlestate games. The first was a Dirty Devs video that discussed the developers consistently blocking any and all refunds regardless of the reason as to why they were filed, the censorious actions taken by Battlestate games against Big Fry TV when he spoke openly and honestly of the game at that time and was highly critical of the issues players were experiencing, and also of the exceptionally vitriolic and sometimes condescending manner in which the developers and their moderators treated their fans in discussion forums. The second video was over a year later, when Battlestate Games had filed a total of 44 spurious DMCA strikes against the streamer Eroctic after he had posted some videos that discussed some rather serious concerns regarding security and how user information was handled, or rather mishandled, by the developers. In that, Battlestate Games had also directly admitted that the DMCA strikes that were filed were not done so over copyright violations, which means that their use of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in this manner was something that Eroctic very much could have sued them over if he were to be so inclined. The third video was posted the next day after Battlestate Games had released a statement that doubled down on their censorious and highly illegitimate DMCA strikes against Eroctic and discussed their overall mishandling and abuse of the DMCA. And on an additional anecdotal note and something that was never confirmed as to whether or not it was true, it was reported to me that Battlestate Games had held internal discussions as to whether or not they would file DMCA strikes against my videos as well. Regardless as to whether or not that was indeed factual, the simple fact that was reported to me does create a very clear and relevant bias that my viewers should be very much aware of. I hold no love for Battlestate games, nor do I at all respect them. They have proven to be censorious, and they have proven to be inherently and objectively anti-consumer in terms of their refusal to issue refunds even within countries where such consumer rights are enshrined within those countries' laws. Indeed, even players that live within the EU or Australia are forced to issue chargebacks if they should choose to attempt to refund the game. That said, let's get to the information at hand. Yesterday, March 12th, the Reddit user Ma said Wake Up Son posted a screenshot of a support request onto the Escape from Tarkov subreddit. In it, they showed that on February 22nd of this year, the support request was opened stating that they had purchased the standard version of Escape from Tarkov. Now, I have seen a great many other channels report on this situation already in which they state that this person is claiming that they cannot run the game at all. However, that is not what is being claimed here. In this, they stated, I've ordered the standard version of Escape from Tarkov, but my machine cannot run the game well, even though I have over the minimum requirements. Is it possible to get a refund for the game? Unfortunately, I cannot play it on PC setup. Six days later, Battlestate Games responded, stating that they would not issue a refund for any reason, holding to their hardline policy in this regard and citing Clause 1142 of the game's license agreement. Four days after that, on March 3rd, Ma said Wake Up Son replied with the following, If I cannot get a refund, why do I no longer have access to the game? It says that I do not own the game, but you still have my money. Then six days after that, on March 9th, they continued, I submitted a refund request and you told me that I cannot have a refund. Then you remove the game from my account. You have my money. My account says that I do not own the game. This is effectively stealing. I've never dealt with such a shady company. I want nothing to do with your game or this company anymore. Give me my money back. And this is where we get into a bit that I want to put a pin in and reference back to in a moment. From Battlestate Games' response here, what they are alleging is that Ma said Wake Up Son refused to accept an amendment that was introduced into the end user license agreement, and because of that, Battlestate Games had suspended access to the user account, or in other words, access to the game. 
and the final word from Ma said was, I pre-ordered the game. I requested a refund after experiencing technical issues. I was told that I cannot have a refund and then the game was removed from my account. There must be some miscommunication here. I cannot imagine that a company does business this way. Can a real person explain to me what this means? And Sova13, a senior technical support member of Battlestate Games, responded to Mossed's Reddit post nearly three hours later, stating, Your pre-order purchase has been cancelled by your payment system, therefore the pre-order was automatically removed. Please contact your payment system support for more information why you did not receive money back. And two and a half hours after that, Mossed responded with, I contacted support February 22nd, almost three weeks ago, and have had zero resolution or clarity on the situation. Don't use the chargeback that I authorized just a few hours ago to try and cover up the blatant incompetence with your organization that took place weeks ago. I contacted my bank and authorized the chargeback after posting this thread. Your response does not address why the game was removed from my account weeks ago for no apparent reason and why your incompetent support bots failed to answer any of my questions or provide any real information. Which Sova13 fired back by stating, On the morning of February 28th, you have turned to the bank for a refund. The payment was cancelled. Consequently, pre-order has been cancelled. After a few days, on the 3rd of March, you've asked the support section where is your pre-order. Date of cancellation, February 28th at 11.07. The reason for cancellation, chargeback. Question date about missing a pre-order, March 3rd at 23.22. Which also begs the question, if Moss said Wake Up Sun had posted a chargeback at the date that Battlestate Games claims he did, then why would they have responded that he had refused to accept the amended license agreement as the reason the game was removed? Of course, there is the possibility that the responder was an automated one and not an actual human being. In fact, it would not surprise me if that was the case. However, this does leave us in a very clear he said, she said situation. One thing we can be absolutely certain of is that a chargeback did occur. Ma said directly admitted as much, but what is in question here is the date of said chargeback. Battlestate Games claims it was on February 28th. Ma said claims the chargeback was filed March 12th. If what Battlestate Games alleges is accurate, then this individual is in fact lying. If he was telling the truth, then what Battlestate Games did was outright theft and then lied to cover it up. The only way to know would be if both parties were to show actual records of the chargeback occurring. Of course, image manipulation is a thing, so it would have to be in a live video format with browser refreshing in order to further preclude the possibility of inspect element being used to alter what was being displayed. And short of that, there's no real way of knowing who is telling the truth and who is lying. And as that is the case, as I said at the beginning, that there would be people rushing to either condemn or defend on both sides. At the end of the day, Battlestate games are still deplorable developers that very much earned their spot on the dirty devs list multiple times over and continue to do so. However, there is reasonable doubt as to the veracity of the claims made against them. And without actual proof of those claims, no one will be able to say with absolute certainty who is in the wrong here. Also, as a warning to any gamers out there, as we see time and time again, if a developer is selling their game only through their own website, for the love of all that is right and just in the world, do not buy that game. You'll be afforded no protection whatsoever, and Battlestate Games continues to prove that with their hardline stance against approving refunds for any reason. This is yet another example as to why purchasing games through legitimate distribution storefronts such as Steam or GOG afford far more consumer protection, especially against developers such as these that refuse refunds even in countries that require refunds to be allowed by law. A Battlestate games are dirty depths, but there is a strong possibility that they did not steal this person's game, as alleged. For now, I would still say avoid them at all costs due to their past actions and current no-refund policy, but the roasting will have to wait unless and until actual definitive proof of this allegation can be provided. Now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.